Welcome to LCC devotional series entitled Pursuing the Heart of God. Today I will read Psalms chapter 5, 1 to 3 and 11 to 12. I will exhort from these beautiful Psalms. So let me read Psalms chapter 5, 1 to 3, 11 and 12. Give here to my words, O Lord. Consider my meditation. Give heed to the voice of my cry, my King and my God. For to you I will pray. My voice you shall hear in the morning, O Lord. In the morning I will direct it to you, and I will look up. Verse 11 and 12. But let all those rejoice who put their trust in you. Let them ever shout for joy. Because you depend them, let those also who love your name be joyful in you. For you, O Lord, will bless the righteous. With favor, you will surround him as with a shield. Let us pray for the word of God. Heavenly Father God, thank you for your word. Your words are life and they are spirit. Holy Spirit of the living God, I pray for press anointing. Anoint your word, anoint your people, and anoint me. Release new revelation, encourage men to encourage your people today for the glory of your name. In Jesus' name, thank you for the anointing. Amen. I want to encourage you today, just like the psalmist, to spend time with God, especially in the morning. Set aside time to commune with God, come into His presence, and pray. If you need wisdom, ask wisdom. If you need strength, ask strength. And He will provide for you. He loves to provide for His children. The psalmist says, Give ear to my words, O Lord. Consider my meditation. He talked to God. He prayed to God. And he believed that God will hear him. He said, Give ear to my words, O Lord. Or listen to my prayer. Consider my meditation. You know, it is good for us that early in the morning that we need to meditate the Word of God. We need to read the Word of God. We need to meditate about His goodness, about His grace, His mercy, His promises. And then in verse 2, He said, Give heed to the voice of my cry. So the psalmist cried before the Lord. You know, David is a warrior. And yet, he expressed his emotion, his heart to the Lord. Probably, you know, in this case, he is crying because he has many problems or, or troubles because there is a period in his life where he is pursued by King Saul. You know, his enemy is trying to kill him, take his life. So, he cried out before the Lord or probably... You know, when his own son, Absalom, rebelled against him, he cried out before the Lord and he answered his prayer. You know? So, don't be afraid to express your emotion before the Lord. He gave you a heart. He is the one who gave us emotion to express it before God. Give it to the voice of my cry. He said, my king and my God. So, he called God this king. Remember, David was anointed king. And, and what is you know, the responsibility of kings? The responsibility of kings is to provide for their citizens, their people. Yeah, isn't it that God is a king and He provides for all of our needs? And He is a good king. For to you I will pray. You see, He direct His prayer to God, His king. You know, He acknowledges God's rulership in his life and provision in his life. Verse 3, My voice you shall hear in the morning. O Lord, in the morning I will direct it to you and I will look up. You see, uh, uh, David prayed to God in the morning before he start his day, before he go to work, before he accomplish you know, his responsibility. Just like Jesus, 
Jesus, you know, spend time with God regularly in the morning. Jesus loved to minister. Jesus loved, you know, to bless people, heal the sick, feed the hungry, share the word. You know, and yet, Jesus practiced, you know, every day in the morning to go to a solitary place, whether in the mountain, whether in a private place, you know, and commune with God. Jesus spent time with God. He has an intimate relationship with God. So the key for our success, the key for our fruitfulness in everything that we do is to pray, spend time with God, commune with God. This is the reward of spending time with God, of praying to God, of trusting God. In verse 11 and 12, listen to this carefully. But let all those who rejoice, but let all those rejoice who put their trust in you. See, there is joy in trusting God. Why? Because God will answer our prayers. Let them ever shout for joy. There is joy to those who trust God. Because you depend on them. God is our protector. He will depend us from our enemy, Satan, the one who tried to destroy our lives, the one who tried to attack us. Let those also who love your name be joyful in you. Do you love God's name? If you love God's name, God will fill your heart with joy. And then verse 12, a powerful promise. For you, O Lord, will bless the righteous. You see, God will bless those who trust in Him. God will bless those who commune with Him. God will bless those who seek His face in the morning. And then with favor, you will surround Him as with a shield. You see, I love the favor of God. Do you understand the favor of God? Or the unmerited, you know, favor of God? The grace of God is the unmerited favor of God? See, the favor of God is advantages in life. Special privileges in life. Make things easier. Mark for success and fruitfulness. You want the favor of God? Do you want to experience special privileges in your life? Do you want to advance in your life or be successful and fruitful in your life? If you are facing difficulties, trials, problems, or all sorts of temptation, do you want God to help you and make things easier for you? Or you will fight your own problems, solve your own problems. You know, I don't want to do that. I want the favor of God. You see, those who trust in Him, they will be surrounded with His favor as with a shield. The favor of God is our shield, our protection. So I encourage you today, spend time with God. Pray. Trust Him. And in return, He will bless you and surround you with His favor. God bless you.